The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Lord is with you. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, it is a, a accented good news uh, this Sunday because we have this highlight from the, from the rising from the dead of Jesus, his resurrection. Now, uh, after 40 days, according to the first reading, he is now going, ascending to the Father, to the kingdom of the Father. Now, what, what is the good news for us today in this feast of the ascension of the Lord? When we have bad news about uh, what is happening in, in Marawi, when uh, there's, there are tears, there are cries and death in Marawi, fear and anxiety, evacuation and property lost, lives lost certainly, a priest is abducted and, and with, together with other lay people uh, in, in the city of Marawi. Uh, the, the cathedral is torched. But again, here we are celebrating in prayer the ascension of the Lord. What, what a contrast. A feast of great joy and hope, but also not, not far from us is the tragedy and, and grief in Marawi. Our task always, task of the church, and task of Sokum is to help uh, preach the good news of Jesus. And the good news of Jesus does not mean a good news that is unmindful of the tragedy and, and tears and fears and suffering of people. It is not that. But the good news of Jesus is that in the midst of this unavoidable many times, but also available, you can avoid it. In the midst of the many sufferings and darkness and, and, and fears and tragedies of life, the good news is God in Jesus walks with us. It is always the challenge for all of us, especially the Sokom of the church, to bring out this truth that Jesus, the Son of, our, the Son of God, our Savior, will always walk with us. That is the mystery beginning with his incarnation. God becoming man. God facing death, our worst enemy. But also in Jesus, there the power of God was shown when he was raised up from the dead. But not only that, raised from the dead, he is now going back to the Father. As if saying us, the coast is clear. The way is open. Magian na ang highway, nga black before for many centuries, for many generations. Now we can go to heaven because Jesus, rising from the dead, is now going back to the Father. But not only that, what is the good news? In our situation of fear, situation of poverty, situation of sickness, situation of deceit, many, you, you, you list it, the darkness is so still, the darkness is still with us. But when he goes there, reading the gospel today and the first reading, we remember what he said. We remember what he said. But also the mass said, do this in memory of me. So we remember, almost similar to the first reading, in my father's house, there are many rooms. There are many places in my father's house. I will go there and prepare a place for you. Aha, I will go there now. We celebrate this going to the Father. But the first reading also today tells us, and also that passage from St. John, I will come back. 
Diba? Ang first reading today tells us, I will come back in the same way. But that passage said, I will come back and take you back to where I am. And there, the beautiful phrase would follow, because where I am, I would like you to be with me. And that is the truth, and that is the good news. And therefore, when we keep that good news, especially today, this particular item of that beautiful story of Easter, when he goes back to the Father, that is the good news that we should keep in our hearts and, 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 and spread to other people. To be hopeful, to be positive, that despite of the darkness and tragedy of Good Friday, and we may call what is happening in our neighbor, neighboring city of Marawi as a kind of, again we see it, a kind of Good Friday, we who believe in Jesus still would hope and trust that the, good, the goodness of God and the goodness in our hearts would triumph. That we won't allow this terrible tragedy in Marawi, we would not allow hatred to dominate our hearts, we would not allow vengeance to dominate our hearts. Yes, we would allow only the goodness and sense of justice and fairness to dwell in our hearts. We pray for the forces of goodness, of good, to triumph over the forces of evil. Almost, we say again, mura magpildi ang goodness, pildi man ang kaayo, pildi man ang pagbinuutan, pildi man ang dialogue, as if back to zero. But today, we tell ourselves, with the memory of Jesus, no, we will continue walking in the path of the Lord. We will all, we will continue walking on the road to the kingdom of God. We will continue behaving as sons and daughters of the ascension of the Lord. We'll continue believing that the goodness of Jesus will dwell in our hearts. Now, with, with that message, uh, we are also challenged in this in this celebration today, two things I would like to pick up. I, I notice that the tone of the messages of, of the first reading and the gospel reading is collective. The you is not singular. The you is plural. You. Dili sokom nga osara. Dili naglihok nga osara. It is like a group, a community, collective. Ang challenge is we. Katiling banta. And so therefore, to continue the work of preaching the good news, particularly in the ministry of Sokom, there is an element of being together. Dili ta pwede magsolo. And in that element of being together, and if we, we really open our eyes and our hearts, we will see the talent and the goodness and giftedness of many others as we work together. And to see God face to face is more than enough to keep our hearts overjoyed. But again, I was so encouraged by the community of Marahan, the way they proclaim the good news together, the way they work together, and the way they tell me without words that we want to go to heaven to follow the footsteps of the Lord ascending up to heaven. And there, in Marahan, in the assembly that we had for the pastoral visit, and going to another, another JKK, I saw Ging Ging there. Uh, and, and she told me, she was there, and she introduced to me that I'm the Sokom of the parish. Uh, with with enough pride that, that, that caught my heart also. I'm the Sokom of the parish. After spending two days there for the pastoral visit, after our mass, she said, I'm going to downtown Archbishop to participate in the training that you have. I said, that is enough. You go home now. Sobrana, two days with the Paris of Manasa. No, my training pa kami. 
that that simple witnessing really touched me and and made me perhaps a better bishop to serve you because of the service and faith that you show to us priests and the bigger community of the Archdiocese of, of Davao. But in all this, since after this Mass, we will not go to heaven, but we will go to Marahan, we will go to Ascension Parish, we will go to Assumption Parish, we will go to San Pablo Parish. The challenge in this in-between times, his ascension and his coming back, the challenge is also coming from the readings. Go to the whole world and bring the good news. But it will only be good news if first and foremost in our hearts, Jesus is the good news.